I feel good because the films are made to be seen, of course. It's nice that. And I have uh, this tiny little reaction that bloody hell, I'm not totally forgotten yet. E even if I should be. <laughs> it's uh, nice, but uh, I'm totally allergic for... Really, this up allergic for uh, festival festivals. I really like to see, I read the catalogue of this festival and see they are really showing films, I mean they are showing cinema and they are forgotten the red carpet which is a killer of cinema. I think they are murder against cinema, the big festival. I think they, it's ruining cinema. I made a big mistake by ever going to. I, I, first ten years, I said no, never competition, never ever. But since I'm my own producer, the devil was on my shoulder and I thought, okay, maybe I can sell it better there, which I couldn't, in fact. I, I saw the same outside of competitions as a producer, which was important because nobody would buy a finished film in those days. So I had to do something to be shown somewhere, but I couldn't see any difference if I was outside of... Uh, if I was in Berlin Forum, it was much better. The audience was much better because the audience in, in uh, red carpet is, is coming there to show their clothes. And in Berlin Forum, people are coming uh, to see a film. Uh, and I think it's really on the can stand. And so it's, uh, there's, there's no price, there's no destruction of cinema. I don't really think I'm going to make maybe one or two, but it's getting complicated because of the digitalization of cinema and I want to die with my boots on. Check the first print technically, and, uh, and that's, it. that's it. I could start now because now years have passed, so I could give some mercy for them. But problem is that I only see the mistakes. Uh, I couldn't enjoy them. I see the mistake. Bloody hell! Why did I do that? Why? why oh, it, amateur bloody idiot! <laughs> that's all you see if you're serious with your work. Uh, you only see the mistakes, so it, it's torture. Yes. Nothing changed. I'm still the same liar I was acting in in my own screenplay in 79 or 80. I made Crime and Punishment and uh, then I noticed that even if it's a serious Dostoevsky story, you shouldn't forget humor. So I took humor in right away. Life is intolerable without humor. It's intolerable with humor too.
Jean-Luc Godard said in his craziest days that the chair you are sitting in is political. For me, it's just a chair. It prevents me from falling to the earth. But, uh, but in these days when, uh, when, the, when the world, uh, our society is going to the drain by dust capital, I think you can't make a film which is not party political. It should be a bit, because otherwise we are only have entertainment and uh, nobody is laughing. I think we are living the end of the, the universe as in the way we know it. Europe is just a slight shade of a whiter shade of pale, but, uh, but I think the problem is much bigger. That das capital took over, and we are in serious shit, and I can't see any reaction to prevent it. Not, not the banks, the, the computer in the, in the upstairs of the banks. Because it, the inhumanity of, of the computer in the fifth floor of the banks. Have you seen Match Factory Girl? Have you seen Crime and Punishment? Have you seen Half Muff? Goddard, that's true. That was a joke. Which is true, I, I can't hide for 30 years, so I smoke a lot and drink a lot, and I like people, and I'm partly human. And I'm a very fast filmmaker, faster than anybody. Especially faster than Jim Chalmers. That's our private joke. I call him Mr. Slow. No country for old men. No, of course, everybody. When I was 20, I was immortal, as everybody. Still in my 40s, I was immortal. I'm not fear of death, I'm wishing for it. But not yet. <laughs> 